Hey everyone. So I'm in the process right now of I cut I cut off this nub here, this plastic nub, and then I just drilled a hole through here to replace it with the movie accurate elbow. Um, all I gotta do is make this hole just a little bit bigger, and then I'm gonna screw this in, and then I'll be able to connect the, that red wire from here. And that's what I'm up to right now. All right, so I screwed in the uh, movie accurate elbow here. And then all you gotta do is, if you bought one of these kits off Etsy or eBay or anything, where they give you all the tubing to make a pack, you have to, it's not all pre-cut. So like for this red wire, I had to line it up and then cut it. Each wire basically will do two of the wires that needs to be done. So like this blue wire did this blue wire length and it'll also do this blue wire length. Um, for those who don't know, if you get a kit like this, the green wire is this wire here that runs from this brass fitting to this brass fitting. And then you put the black loom cover over that. Um, that's what the thicker green wire is for. The two thinner red wires, um, I keep calling them wires. <laughs> the two thinner tubing, red tubing, goes to these two brass fittings here, to this, and to that. And then that thick red one um, goes here. And I can't remember where else actually. Or that one would go maybe no not the wand that's too thick for the wand i'm not sure but i do know it goes here <laughs> the thinner ones go here so anyways i want to show you real quick so i'm going to just put a little bit of tape on the end of this so it sticks in this fitting tightly and then to cut it you just stick it in one end bring it over the next and you kind of just figure out where you want to cut it i mean if you want it to look you know if you want to have a little bit of access you can cut more just whatever you do make sure you don't cut it too short because then you'll be out of luck all right so i got my hose cut i put a little bit of electric tape on the tip so it holds tightly inside the brass fitting there i put some more electric tape here that runs around this part again looking at the reference photos from the movie and then i put a thicker uh, tape on the bottom here and then I'm going to put on these clamps just like the movie and with these all you do is you tighten them with the screw and then all the leftover you'll have a bunch of leftover clamp sticking out and then you just cut that off all right so I've got the electric tape and the clamps on here all I gotta do is still cut those excess um, clamps off and then stick it on and these should cut them let's see no that's not really cutting i have to go get someone else to cut it but yeah and then all i'm gonna do is stick it in that brass fitting there stick it in this fitting here and that wire will officially be changed and movie accurate and obviously once this is all weathered it's gonna look way way better all right so i just took my mini mini grinder and cut off the uh excess um metal there so i'm ready to install it again put a little bit of electric tape at the end here just to make this snug as that fits in there and then on this fitting you have to pull this back in two hands. You got to pull, pushes it in as you push the hose in as well. And that's done. Yep. And obviously once you weather this, it's going to be way better. And as you can tell, this is the stock wire that comes with the fake rubber ones. Let's see how much better that looks. Got 
the tape there. Pretty cool. Uh, don't worry, I was worried about a wire being through here when you cut this hole for this. Don't worry, there's one wire and it's out of the way. So you can go ahead and cut your hole to put this elbow in. Sorry, I don't remember the exact names for these elbows. But um, you just search online for it. Pretty easy to find out. Um, these did come white, so I did have to paint them gray. And as you can tell, as, a, as I was putting this one in, it was chipping the paint off. So I don't have to touch that up or leave it because, hey, it's an after lick pack. It's all supposed to be messed up anyway, so I might just leave that the way it is. But So yeah, got my second red wire on. This wire is good to go. Everything's basically everything's good to go now, except I'm waiting for these wires and connectors to come. Um, I am really hoping I don't have to bondo this to fill these holes. I'm hoping that all the new wires that I put in is just going to cover them. That's my hope. I'm just going to make it to where it just covers the holes exactly like the old fake ones did. And yeah, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut off these fake screws and replace them with the real movie accurate ones. Um, and then I can't wait to weather, weather everything. I'm going to put that rust powder on these, on all the screws. I still got um, aluminum metallic, uh, not stickers, labels coming to replace all the stickers with. Uh, so I'm basically just waiting on a few things now. I'm still waiting on my blue lens for the uh, power cell right here. I took out the white diffuser. I'm still waiting for my real um, iron arm bar to replace this with. Um, still might get a real metal shock mount. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do... I think the only thing I can do... Today, let's go ahead and cut these off and replace them with real screws. So all you do is cut them as close as you can, grind them down, and then drill a hole. Uh, I don't know the sizes of these drills, guys. I literally just do everything by ear, like trial and error. I just, um, what I do is, well, I don't have any, I don't have any screws right here. But you just take the screw, pretend this is the screw. And then you hold it up to the bit. You know, I can't I can't do it without showing you. But okay, say so this is the screw, this is the bit. You just hold it up to each other like that. And you try to find the bit that's like the exact same size. You want the bit to be smaller than the threads though. They have to be just the size smaller than the actual threads. Right? So when you when you drill the hole and you start screwing the screw into the hole the threads will start biting on the sides of the hole. So you, you, do, you just got to make sure you don't do a hole too big. So I always start with one size too small, and then I just move up the very next size. And then you just do that, and then, then you screw it in. And that's how all these fittings and, like, these screws, these fittings, these brass fittings, that's how I did all that. Um, this screw here, this screw here, and if you do it right, if you make sure the hole is not too big, you'll get a real tight fit on these screws, and they and they legitly tighten down as as you do it. If the hole is too big, it's going to be real loose, and you're going to have to have to glue it or something. So, but like for this one, I really needed it to hold this ladder down, especially this clip with holding everything up here. It really needed to be like work, you know. I really need to properly snug it tight. So. Um, these resistors, these three resistors, I have real ones coming. They should be delivered by the, by the end of today. Um, still got to replace this with a real elbow. Um, but I've been kind of waiting for this to do this until I get this resistor in and this as well. Uh, but pretty much everything else is done. I say that now, but there's always <laughs> things that I'm, I'm going to do that I forget about. But as you guys know, I took... Cut this and put actual wires in here. Um, yeah, so. All right, but I'm glad I got this wire done. And then I want to do these bolts, these screws. And that might be it for today. Um, 
until these come in. All right, guys, so I just cut off these fake bolts, screws, uh, drilled holes, and put um, real ones in. So now I got real movie accurate screws there. And I finished this hose today as well with the movie accurate elbow here. And a real hose and real clamps, real brass fitting. So that's it for now, guys. Might as well throw this on there. Um, I'm still waiting. I have a real iron arm coming. I said that before, but I'm still waiting for that. Um, and I have these resistors coming as well. I'm going to put all new, uh, real resistors and I got to do this elbow still and this wire and I got my blue lens coming for that and it's getting there. It's definitely getting there. Um, can't wait to get to the point where I can start weathering all this and kind of tie it all in. So I ripped these out, these fake wires. And I'm still waiting for these wires and the clips to come so I can put these real ones on. And yeah. So I think that's going to be it for the day. And I'll uh, talk to you guys later.